Hey, it's Ken from Victoria, and I am back today to talk about cross-country mountain bike tires and answer all the questions that you guys asked us on this page. So the first question we got was, what is the best all-around Victoria cross-country tire? And so in terms of all around, you're looking for something that can kind of do a little bit of everything, right? And not really have a big downside anywhere. And for that reason, I would probably say the Barzo. Uh, and the reason is it's super at home on technical terrain, yet it you know it doesn't really give up anything on, on the faster courses. It has an alternating center ridge tread design. It rolls really fast on hard pack. It's gotten five-star reviews and terrain like that. Yet, at the same time, it won World Mountain Bike Championships in 2015 in a really sloppy, muddy technical day. So check out the Barzo as an all-around cross-country race tire. What are the main differences between TNT and TLR casings? Well, both of those terms have evolved. So TNT has been replaced uh, with XC Trail and TLR has been replaced with XC Race. And so the big difference between XC Trail and XC Race casings is that XC Trail has sidewall protection, where XC Race does not. It's made to be very lightweight. Uh, XC Trail uh, is the gray sidewall, where XC Race is the tan sidewall. Both casings feature tubeless ready bead, graphene 2.0 compound, 4C layering process, all that stuff. But again, the big difference is XC Trail has sidewall protection and XC Race does not. What is the best XC combo to use with the Barzo? Well, if you're going to use a Barzo uh, in a combination, uh, which is to say not a Barzo front and rear, because remember, you can, you can use the Barzo front and rear. A lot of people do that. But if you're going to use it in a combination, a lot of people throw a Mezcal on back. And it's super popular. Uh, we call it the, <laughs> the Barzo mullet. Um, and basically, uh, what you're doing is you're putting a slightly more aggressive tire in front and a little faster rolling tire in back. So uh, you have that cornering traction where you need it in front, but you're not you know, having any sort of additional drag at all. Um, so that's a really popular combination. Um, and you know, speaking of that combination, we go right into the next question. So for the Barzo Mezcal combo, which should be front and which should be rear? Well, I just answered that. One thing to add to that though, some people like to get clever and try to take that rear tire and flip it around and run it backwards, thinking that they might get some sort of scooping traction benefit. Um, really what happens when you do that is that it just packs up. So, um, you know, you want to run the tires both pointing forward and the rear tire is designed to clean itself if it does spin at all uh, and dig down to, to firmer terrain to get you up that hill. So um, something to think about. Um, and then lastly, the best XC race combo. So what is the best XC race combo? I mean, what, is, what does best mean, right? Is it, is it lightest? Is it fastest? Is it grippiest? Um, best can mean many things. And for that reason, we make a range of tires so you can cater to whatever terrain you're trying to overcome, right? Uh, a couple popular combinations, uh, aside from that Barzo Mezcal combination would be uh, a Mezcal front terrain o rear. Uh, in fact, that combination was used to win 2018 European Cross Country Championships uh, under BMC. Um, and so that's been very popular. Um, some people like to put a, a peyote in back and a Barzo in front. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, you can mix and match and try to overcome uh, the terrain that you're riding. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, please check out our website, Vittoria.com, for more information on this and all of our tire line. And keep these questions coming. This is fun. I'll answer anything you got, and uh, we'll do more of this. Thanks, guys.